Um, yeah, I was that inhaler kid that people. What? How do you grow out of that, Becky? You literally do. It's a thing. People just grow out of it. Wow. Blessed be the fruit. I know. Blessed, blessed be, be my lungs. The lungs. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to A Little About A Lot. I'm Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're also known as the Sorry Girls. And this is a podcast that talks a lot about a little, no, that no, talks a no. little about a lot of different things. <laughs> Mostly what's going on in our lives and what we find interesting at the moment, we just chat about it. Yeah, because we just like to hang out and chat and we like to talk to you guys. I feel like it brings us all back down to earth a little bit. And also, I'm sure you're lonely cleaning your room and or driving because I can relate to that. <laughs> Okay, so I think let's start off by just chatting about maybe what happened this week. Mm, this week. What did we talk about last week? Did I have car problems and a MacBook problem last week? Well, this past week, I don't know why, but like everything in my life was breaking. Um, luckily, none of my none of my body. Just like material things like my laptop and my car. So I don't know why, but I just had to spend a lot of time like going to the mall and to the car repair shop. And I didn't like it. And I was like, wow, this is why we just need quality things. It makes you grateful for the things that you have that do work, eh? Yeah, or the (laughs) times that those items do work. (laughs) Because I think I'm buying quality products. It's just, you mean, you got to replace a battery every now and then. That is true. That is true. Yeah. We also finished a really big room ink over this week, which was great and exciting because I had been planning it and we had been working on it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it finally got shot yesterday. And the day before, and it turned out amazing. Every time we do a room makeover, it's like my new favorite room. So that is true, actually. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, it probably is out already. So go check it out. Yeah, if style selected. Pottery barn vibes are your your vibes. Then I think you'll really like this room. And if not, I'm sure you're gonna learn something new. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, overall, um, what happened this last week is that I realized summer's over. So that just made me really sad. <laughs> I know. I was thinking about that too today, how it's almost the end of August. Like, what did I even do this summer? I mean, I did a lot. Yeah, you did a lot. I did a lot. But it's still, like, it goes by so fast. Like, the busier you are, I swear, the faster time goes by. So I've had a busy summer, which makes me realize that, like, summer just passed by so quickly and I kind of hate it. Yeah. What What do we do to, like, slow that down a little bit? I think I just need to, to be less busy, but I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I know. I'm like literally me time i just need more me time because even even when you're not working it's like if you have plans with your friends or like plans with my boyfriend it's just that it's just still so much Mm -hmm. or like chores (laughs) oh my god i'm just like no i need time i can't remember the last time i was like i'm bored no never i don't even have the time for the chores anymore because i'm like i swear i'm never home been working so late i've been gone almost every weekend it's just like i haven't even seen my own house in so long and i love my house so much yeah last night it was like 10 30 at night and i was like i was supposed to do laundry i'm running out of underwear <laughs> and just clothing and i was overall just so sad the real struggle. and i was like i think i need to cancel all my plans on friday because i just need to stay home and do nothing and i love that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i definitely need to schedule some of that in <laughs> okay wait also speaking of last night i thought that my downstairs neighbor i live in like a house apartment kind of thing was on drugs because it's like 11 o'clock at night and my neighbor downstairs is like has a pole and he's hitting the fence with the pole and i was like what is he doing is it the raccoons yeah it was the raccoon <laughs> and then he was just standing at the bottom of the driveway and i was like what are you doing but i think he was taking a break from like scaring off the raccoons yeah i think that was the problem is that the raccoons am i saying raccoons weird kind Ra- of raccoons the raccoons the raccoons <laughs> the, the raccoon the rat the raccoons how do you how do you say it raccoon Raccoon. <laughs> the raccoon. Oh, so you always say, start to say word too many times. It doesn't sound right anymore. <gasps> yep. What was I trying to say today? Oh, I was trying to say um, legible. I was like, how do you spell legible? And I couldn't figure it out. And then I was saying it so many times. I'm like, this is not even a word anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. So the, the raccoon, the raccoons. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. I think he was trying to scare them off because they, the garbage is like right outside his window. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and... And then I thought he was just standing there tapping on the garbage. But then I realized that it was a raccoon. Raccoon. (laughs) Holy (laughs) crap. You need to get yourself a pole for your raccoon problem. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Anyways, so apparently my whole building is having raccoon problems. Let's call them trash pandas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can pronounce that. A cute one. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Anyways, (laughs) that's 
That's my life. Your poor neighbor. <laughs> but May, hey, hopefully a new house coming eventually. I know. And they never have to see those people again. Except like all the houses I want, like I really would love a nice like green and luscious backyard. And guess where pandas like to hang out? I mean, trash pandas, sorry. <laughs> green, luscious backyards. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I think that needs to be a requirement. It's like, is there parking? Um, does it have any raccoons? That sounded right, by the way. I did say it right. When I'm in my, like, weird secretary voice, I can say it right. (laughs) Raccoons. Where's your raccoons? Okay. Moving on. Um, Okay. So today, I think we're going to be talking about firsts. (laughs) So Daniela, our podcast producer, came up with a whole list of, like, first things. Yeah. And we got to read through this earlier, so I have some notes about what my answers for some of these are. Um, but I think we're just going to go through them and, like, hopefully we have interesting stories to chat about. Yeah. Also, uh, spinning off of this, mm-hmm. I was wondering if anybody would be interested in a DIY video where we look back at our old videos and find out, like, the first time we used a drill or the first time we did, like, fashion versus home decor or mm-hmm. the first time we did a collab or something. Like, this this little... <laughs> I feel like it'd be a montage of awkward experiences. Oh, 100%. But also, I'm so afraid of just reviewing old content because we did a video recently where we just, like, reviewed old content and then people called us lazy and I was like... <laughs> I know, and that that was so annoying because, I like, it wasn't just, like, recycled content. It was, like, us, a new video that we had filmed, mm-hmm. talking about old DIYs that maybe people hadn't seen because they were that old. Yeah, and we, it's because we have a series called College Try, which is where we um, do DIYs that don't need power tools. They're affordable, and you can do them in your college dorm room. Mm-hmm. Um, and we realized when we were coming up with ideas for College Try that we have a lot of videos that... Um, the DIYs are like mixed into different videos and certain DIYs could either be college try or already were college try appropriate. So we're like, let's introduce all the new audience to these videos that might be a couple years old, but they're still quality DIYs. Exactly. It wasn't even a straight re-upload or anything. It was like... like, It was like we curated a list. Yeah, it was like a reaction video. (laughs) Anyways, I mean, I get it. People just want to see new stuff. But, but man, we work it so hard. I know. And it's not even the fact that we were like, we don't want to make a video. It's that we thought that would be a good video. Yeah, so. I was like, this is going to be so helpful. I think mm-hmm. it's one of those things where maybe our audience that has seen all of our videos is like, we don't want to see this. We've already seen this. But I think it's something for new people that might be like, oh, wow, this is cool. Or people just finding our channel are going to be like, this is helpful. Like 10 DIYs. Wow, great. And it's always the upset people that end up commenting anyways. Yeah. It's like if you read reviews for a restaurant, it's always people that had a bad time that want to write a review. I know. When's the last time you're like, this is great. I'm going to share it. Like, just, and it has to be some real good food for me to write a review. If it's like, that was a nice dinner, I'm not I'm not going to write anything. <laughs> yeah. But if, but if there's if, a hair in my food. Oh, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> everybody. I'm getting a refund. Exactly. Okay. Want to get into this? Oh, yeah. Hit me. Um. Okay. And also, first of all, these first, are first, first of all. Before we get into the first, um, some of these are just like the first thing. I guess I'm also saying first. The first things I could think of for answers, and not necessarily like super accurate to the very first. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Like, don't hold me to this. If I if like in five years, I have a different answer of what my first whatever was. Slash, I feel like my mom would be like, mm, no, no, honey, because she's yes. gonna remember some of these firsts better than I would. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of something your mom probably remembers better than you. Yeah. First memory you ever had? I wonder if my my mom remembers my first memory. Well, I don't know. She'd remember you as a baby more than you remember that's yourself true. as a baby. Yeah, I think you know. Also, something that's weird is getting your memories confused with photos yes i was actually just thinking about this when i was writing this Mm because i my actual first answer i thought of i think is because i I know the photo of it not because i remember it it's weird (laughs) yeah i had this thing where i was like do i remember my first bedroom or do i just remember seeing a photo of my first bedroom but i don't my mom was talking about the old house that we used to live in when i was a baby and i was like oh yeah like my room was green right and it was like a really small room at the top of the stairs and Mm -hmm. she was like yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you remember that. And I actually don't know if there is a photo of the room. So you must remember. It. I think that was all me, baby. And I like hadn't lived there. I think I only lived there for like up until I was like maybe three. So not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I remember. Um, we my parents have had the same house like ever since I was a baby, but they've done a bunch of renovations on it since. 
but I really remember the original kitchen floor that we had in our <laughs> kitchen like super well. It was back when this was like a trend in the 90s to have like that linoleum floor, but it looked like tile. Yeah. It was like oh, yeah. one big plastic sheet that you kind of just rolled yeah. out, but it had like a tile print in it. Yep. And I think ours was like a light blue and it had like kind of this like cream square pattern all <laughs> over it. And I remember it was kind of like rolling up on the corners. <laughs> Sorry, mom, that needed to be replaced, but it was. <laughs> and I just remember like me like lying on the floor because it's probably like a baby. Yeah. Sitting on it and like the and texture like, of this the plastic is ugly. floor. <laughs> you're like, mommy. I was destined to be a room designer. <laughs> mommy, can we upgrade this floor? It's not working in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, so I, me- I remember that floor very oh well. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my parents – it sounds like my parents had, like, pretty much the exact same thing, and they just replaced it, like, two years ago. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> but better sooner than later. The reason they replaced it is because they knew that when they were selling the house, which might be soon, that it would bring down the value. Yeah. Which, smart – I don't know if you, any anybody's, like, putting off renovations or mm-hmm. DIYs, but, like, you might as well enjoy your new cute kitchen instead of waiting – until you're about to sell it and then be like, oh, shoot, we should upgrade. Or if you don't upgrade it, then you're maybe like lowering your property value. So just don't put up, put those don't put those things off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't remember my first day of school. Do you? My first day of school? I definitely don't remember my very first day of school because I would have been like you would be like four. Three yeah. Four years old. <laughs> my mom told me. So this is not a memory. This is a my mom's memory of me. <laughs> but she said that. I was always like a really good kid and I wasn't like a crybaby or anything except I had to go home from the first day of kindergarten and she said that she just found out that I was hungry like I cried and I was upset and they didn't know why and then when I home went home I had a snack and I was better and they were just like you were just hungry because they don't feed you at this kindergarten yeah or maybe my <laughs> parents fed me too much <laughs> and then I went to school and I was like god damn it where's the snacks <laughs> I mean that's still me to be honest <laughs> yeah literally yesterday you're like can someone go buy snacks we yeah. don't have any I mean you can't just eat one meal like one meal throughout the day that's crazy <laughs> you need snacks you gotta keep that energy up need the snacks i'm not in that fasting train that's for sure Mm -mm. i remember this yeah would have been like junior kindergarten i'm pretty sure like i don't know why we were that young but we learned french at our school like from a very young age (laughs) in junior kindergarten i swear we did oh my god this is my first classroom i'm pretty sure and we had you can picture it like you remember the big like block brick tiles that like a lot of like schools were made of or like gyms were made of Right, like the big rectangles. Oh, we like to go see that studio the other week that had the walls made of those bricks. Cinder block. Yeah, cinder block, but they're usually like painted white. Yeah. Um. Well, my first classroom, like all of those blocks were painted like different rainbow colors. Like oh, Lego. One. Yeah, it, actually, yeah. <laughs> It'd be weird to see it now as an adult, but I remember it being like essentially like a Lego room. Yeah. And all we learned was like the colors in French. <laughs> so I remember the teacher would have like this crazy long pointer, and she would like point to different like bricks on the wall literally and ask us to say them in French. Okay, pop quiz. What's green in French? Vert. 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 Oh, maybe no tea. Vert. <laughs> What's pink? Um, You know what? We didn't have a pink block, so I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I know red is rouge, so it's like... Oh, no, pink is... Isn't it r- rose? Rose. Oh, yeah, rose. I'm giving you all the ASMR. <laughs> These French words. <laughs> French ASMR. I'm here for that. <laughs> Imagine, like, you take French class and they're like, hello. Or bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to French class. Rose is pink. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was weird. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, all right. First time on a plane. Do you remember that? No. No. See, mm, nah. this is going to segue into my first vac- family vacation answer. Yeah. Um, my family, this is going to sound like very privileged, but I lived a blessed life. We <laughs> blessed be the Becky side. Blessed be. Yeah. So I'm just watching Handmaid's Tale for <laughs> anyone who wants to know about my life. And my favorite thing to say is blessed be or yeah. blessed be the fruit. Yeah. So that's going to come up. <laughs> um, but every winter we would go to Florida because only because my grandparents were like snowbirds, which is the term meaning they go there half the year. <laughs> yeah. I was like one year days old when I heard that. I mean, I learned that a year ago. I didn't know what snowbirds was. Really? Yeah. We got like a brief to do like a brand deal and they were like our target demo is like snowbirds and i was like what the hell is a snowbird and then you were like "Um, let me tell you what i told you this recently (laughs) yeah you were the one that taught me what a snowbird was like a year ago 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who's wondering, it's it's probably a Canadian term because like where else in the world do you leave for the winter? I mean, maybe like Russia or anywhere cold, <laughs> but <laughs> it's very much a Canadian thing that like a lot of like it's more of a like a older thing senior, too. Like people who are retired do this. Snowbirds, yeah. Yeah, they own like a trailer and like it trailer park down in florida yeah there's a joke that like florida has more canadians living in it than actual americans it's so too. true yeah um yeah so they had a place down there so every like christmas or winter we would go down just because so my parents could see their parents i could see my grandparents and we'd hang out there so i was obviously taking a plane to get there and i was so, yeah super young yeah the first time i ever went down there on a plane and then i, I guess that counts as my first vacation too because mm-hmm. we would go to florida i would we would go to like disney sometimes go to the beach so wow i know bless, i know bless we, it be. <laughs> we definitely did the florida vacations too but i feel like we drove so mm. i didn't take a plane no, true like, that true that yeah okay what's the next one you've got you've got a story for a thought for <laughs> um so do you remember the first time you're in a hospital other than you're born although you probably wouldn't remember that that would just be insane if you remember when you were being <laughs> born ew <laughs> ew um i really don't have a great answer for this either um, I was also in the hospital a lot as a kid. Well, for two reasons. Because your mom's a nurse. Yeah, my mom is a nurse. So I would go there all the time to like visit her, of course. And then I grew up with pretty bad asthma. So I was in the hospital a lot for like breathing problems. Whoa, what? bad so asthma cute. also sounds like bad asthma. Bad asthma. <laughs> <laughs> bad asthma. Um, yeah, I was that inhaler kid that people what? make fun How do you grow out days. of that, Becky? You literally do. It's a thing. People just grow out of it. Wow. Blessed be the fruit. I know. Blessed, blessed be, be my lungs. The lungs. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, something I don't know if I've grown out of is my penicillin allergy. Ooh. And also, I don't even know it's a, if it's an official allergy. But um, I my parents said that I had penicillin when I was a baby and I had an allergic reaction that they thought was the penicillin, but they weren't sure. And then I had um, strep throat when I was in was I was like eight years old and they gave me penicillin for it which is banana flavored and it's so good oh, I, is that banana medicine yes I remember that oh my god it was so good and um and then I was like having a bath that evening and I was like I can't breathe my lips are swollen my throat is swollen and then I went to the hospital and then my mom's like yeah we gave you penicillin as a baby and you had a reaction I'm like so we just like we were like sure let's try that again like that sounded like a good idea oh no anyways um I'm alive I'm still here but I haven't had penicillin since and I don't like I never officially got tested but it's just kind of like hmm I think I'm allergic to this mm, better not <laughs> yeah better not and then that was the hospital and then I think the other time I'm pretty sure I went to the hospital for this um did anybody else like ride down the banisters like either in your house or like in a public setting <laughs> i feel like i attempted it once but it did not come across as cool as it did in my head oh my so. god it was like literally my main mode of transportation in my family home oh boy because like i don't know they they were like pretty wide and then they curved a bit mm, there yeah was like, ours were skinny i don't like how did i that's insane i would do that like every time i was like coming down the stairs instead of taking the stairs i'd like hop on the banister mm-hmm. like wow so anyways i was doing that once and i had been doing it all my life and then of course one time i fell off and i broke my like elbow (gasps) or like fractured it sprained it whatever um but it was like literally a week before the dance recital oh shoot (laughs) yeah i uh very quickly learned how to do a one-arm cartwheel for my acro dance holy crap that's impressive Bam. (laughs) fun fact i've never broken a bone ever Wow. So that's been nice. Hoping to keep that record going strong. Yes, drink your calcium. Yes. I don't know how I haven't injured myself more with like all the DIYs we do. It's so true. It's I don't know. I'm like it's bound to happen sometime soon. Shh. Knock on wood. Uh, you know what does need to break this podcast. We will see you back after this short break. 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 <laughs> Hey, a little about a lot, listeners. Exciting announcement here. Season two of this podcast is now in video as well as HD audio. (laughs) If you'd like to actually see us record these podcasts in our awesome DIY podcast studio, head over to youtube.com slash the story life where you can see all of our podcasts recorded in video. Plus, you can leave comments below in real time since some podcast listening apps don't have that feature. YouTube does. 
go check it out. Maybe give that channel a subscribe as well because that's where our vlogs are as well, where you can actually see the things that get brought up in most podcast episodes as well about our daily lives. Okay, see you there. Okay, and we're back. Um, and we're back and we're going to talk about celebrity crushes. Oh, who was your first? <laughs> None other than the Nicholas Jonas. Is his name Nicholas? I found out recently that not all Nicks are Nicholases. I guess not. And not all Lukes are Lucases. Yeah, no. I just thought that was a thing. Mm-mm. And then I got called out one time when I called a Luke Lucas and they were like, the fuck and i was like oh oh sorry i thought it was being cool and funny i shouldn't be surprised by that like oh wh- what is this name you came up with it's like no yeah you must have like, heard that before i thought that was the short form for like pretty much every lucas ever <laughs> that's funny um but yeah nick jonas and the funny story about this is that me and my like grade eight bestie were obsessed with nick jonas and then we played on a baseball team in the summer between grade eight and grade nine and there was a guy on our baseball team who looked just like Nick Jonas. Oh, danger. Oh, my God. We were obsessed. Um, me and him had, like, a huge crush on each other. And we were all, like, cute and flirty. And then I went away for summer camp, like, for one week. Mm-hmm. And I came back. And he was just like, I'm so over you. And I was like, oh. <gasps> oh, no. Was so, he like, older than you? No, he was my age. And he was going to the same high school as me. But I didn't know him before that. I only met him at baseball. Mm-hmm. And then we were starting high school together in grade nine. So I was, like, so stoked for that. But, yeah, summer camp, like, really screwed me over that time. Not cool. But the really weird but funny thing is is that my friend <laughs> for my birthday, okay, for my birthday, which, by the way, is in September. Mm-hmm. So after this guy's already been, like, so over you, not into it, we go back to school. And then my best friend makes me this, like, funny card where it's, like, a bunch of pictures of this guy from our school and Nick Jonas. <laughs> And it's what? like, happy birthday. And I'm like, this is really cute and funny. But like, oh, my God, this guy like hates me now. And like, I don't want a birthday card with his face all over it. Wait, so it was photos of him? Yeah. Where did she get these from? I think like Facebook. I mean, I get it must have been Facebook. I think I had the same question. I was like, the fuck? Like Facebook was barely a thing like oh, in grade nine. Barely. That was like the very barely. beginning. That's kind of creepy yeah <laughs> yeah it is uh I, I hope like nobody i don't think anybody listening knows that situation so i i feel okay saying it no it's a great story <laughs> um but also he grew up to not look anything like nick jones just saying oh good 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 yeah did he ever know or hear about this card that had his face all that's over a it? very good question i feel like no because i just like was not close with him after our sh- short summer romance summer like (laughs) baseball like team that's like a movie plot for sure yeah except like a sad one oh okay moving on do you have what was your celebrity crush maybe it turned out better than mine oh no it didn't um (laughs) (laughs) well speaking yeah speaking of movies the first crush i can remember ever having is wait let me take a guess can i just take a guess you'll never get it but go (gasps) oh i was like i know becky go like, I thought maybe something with, like, Keith Ledger. Okay, that's a really a really strong second. Okay. Super strong second. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I always, like, saw Heath Ledger as, like, much older than me. That's Because, like, is he not? Or yes. was he not? Well, R.I.P.? It, now it would be, like, less weird because, you know, when you're, like, young, people right. are much older than they are. Mm-hmm. Like, when I was a little kid, he would have been, like, I don't know, late 20s probably. And like, Whoa. Wait, hold on. I need to Google this. He's pro- if he he probably passed in his like thirties, maybe close to forties. True. I don't know. R.I.P. Not quite forty. I feel like would have been a strong answer though. What for year show. was Heath Ledger born? Heath Ledger was born April fourth, nineteen seventy nine. Oh, I can tell you exactly how old he is because he's the same age as my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, so, he's, he would turn forty this year. So like doable or now, did. right? Y- yeah, I mean. Yes. <laughs> but, but like, you know, super young me, kind of weird. Um, but I have a, an even older thought, and this is kind of funny. Um, so there's this movie that's, like, literally from the 90s called Huck and Finn. Do you know it? No. It's the story of Tom Sawyer, basically. Okay. But stars JTT. Oh. But not my crush, which is funny. <laughs> so it stars Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and then this other guy, Brad Renfro, is um, – the other guy who's not Tom Sawyer. Okay, is this person still alive? Uh, uh, yes. I, I don't know. So. I would hate to see a photo of him now, but we need to find a photo of him in oh. that movie. Okay, I'm com- I'm doing it. Not that it's like, oh my God, he's so hot, because it's not, but I just had a thing for guys with long hair. 
Wait, he what had was long hair name? in this movie? Brad Renfro. Brad Ren. <laughs> fro? Did yeah. he have a fro? No. Oh. But we got to find a picture of him from this movie. And he was like, you know, kind of like the rebel, like badass kid in the movie who like turned Tom Sawyer bad. And like, I don't know. Young me was like, that kid's so cool. And he was like closer to my age, too. Mm. So, you know, you get it. You get it. That's oh. like the earliest thing I ever remember being like, yes, I like. I don't even know if there is a modern day picture of him. But is this a vintage picture of him? Yes. But not him from the movie. Oh, okay. Let me find you a picture from the movie. Oh, I found him. Even... This is him. Yeah. Respect. Do you, do you recognize him? No. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Is he passed? I mean, I just clicked this photo and all it says is, we'll never get over these Hollywood stars who died. Becky. I have a you terrible curse. are the horriblest curse ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Both of your, like, crushes. I didn't even know that. I feel like well, maybe I knew that, but I didn't know that. <gasps> he died in 2008. <gasps> oh, my God. Where was I? Why was I not more upset in 2008? Drugs. Oh. Freaking drugs, man. Don't do drugs. Well, any Hollywood celebs, don't let me fall in love with you because it's not looking good. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a movie plot right there. Oh, boy. Let's write a short film. Done. Okay, <laughs> well, moving on from my terrible, terrible I, curse. I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Uh. <laughs> um, okay, speaking of people that are still alive, <laughs> my first relationship boyfriend. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as I know. <laughs> um, yeah, did you have a – what was your first relationship? My first real relationship was my high school boyfriend who you met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I met him in college. Yeah. It was like fairly short lived, like <laughs> like a year ish or less. I, I don't mean know. if you look at in my mind, I'm like high school's four years. So like a year is like a quarter of that. Exactly. Like in my, and then after you're done high school and college, then I look at like your life starts. And then so like imagine a quarter a of the rest of your life like that would be a long time but oh. a quarter of your high school life like that's one year and that's a long time yeah that's true that is true yeah i think um my high my like first relationship was my like grade nine high school boyfriend mm -hmm. um actually i guess i had a boyfriend in grade eight wow yeah look at you i, I mean you know boys watch out <laughs> watch out <laughs> um yeah, I mean, I don't know. They happened. They came, they gone. They came, they gone. Any any interesting stories? I just they happened. Um, they happened. My second my high school boyfriend that was I guess pretty serious. That was like a couple of years. So that's like half of high school. Whoa, 50% Whoa. of your life 50 in high school. 50% of my high school <laughs> life. But he got drafted to like the like hockey world. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so then he moved away. Wow, is he like mega rich now? No. Sydney Crosby style? Not that I know of. He That was a short-lived hockey career, I believe. Um, Don't want to, like, speak for him, but... Best wishes. Best wishes. <laughs> Blessed be your... Blessed be your career. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, let's move on from that to... Oh, what was your first concert? That's a fun one. Okay, wait. Take a guess. Oh, Jonas Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Was> I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just by your previous story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my first concert was actually Shania Twain, <gasps> which is fun. Oh, my God. Yeah, my mom took me. I forget how old I was. I don't know, maybe 12, 13, That's maybe. That's amazing. Yeah, I think it was my mom just wanted to go because she was a fan. So yeah. she was like, come with me. It'll be fun. Mother daughter. Oh, my God. I love and that. And I, like, I knew who she was, obviously, because my mom played her all the time. Yeah. But I, like, didn't appreciate it the way I appreciate concerts now. Mm -hmm. But still a cool memory. Like, yeah. This was back before, like, when she was, I guess, more, like, in her prime. Yeah. And I saw cool. Shania Twain, like, I think last year. Yeah. She was great. I know. After I was, like, kind of kicking myself because I was like, oh, that would have been such a good idea <gasps> to, like, take my mom again because she took me. But Full circle. I know. I thought of it way too late. That's okay. If she ever comes back, mom, your gift is ruined because that's what I'm going to get you. True, true, true. <laughs> Maybe. Or, like, Vegas. Isn't she doing Vegas? She okay. should. I'm not promising you a trip to Vegas. That sounds money. <laughs> but maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> we just need a sponsor. Yeah. Shania Twain Vegas. Vegas Residencies. Please sponsor. Please. First night out? <laughs> yeah. I guess that'd be like first time you went like out partying. Uh, out. Like, out. Like out. I mean, this one isn't first like out like turn up, but 
I don't know if we've told this story before about when we went to um, an institution in Toronto calling you out the Drake. Oh, <laughs> um, yes. Which is like, for those of you that aren't from Toronto, has nothing to do with like Toronto's very own, October's <laughs> very own Drake. It's yeah. like there's a like restaurant hospitality line called the Drake. It's a hotel. A hotel and, and restaurants and bars and stuff like that. Um, and Becky and I went there to see some like art um, and we were just in college, like first year. Mm-hmm. So I think I was probably just turned 18 and you were definitely 18. Um, and the drinking age is 19. And we were like, glasses of wine. And then they, she was like, you guys are of age, right? And we we're like, yeah. I don't even think, I don't even think we like tried to order them. She was just like, do you want like <laughs> white or do you want wine? And we were like, yes, yes. that's true. Yes, we do. I don't think we went with the intention of like, we're going to get alcohol. Because if you do that, then like, of course, you're going to get carded. Yeah. But if somebody's like, would you like this? And you're like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have really embarrassing, like a photo booth strip from that night too, Aww. which I think I have somewhere. We Aww. can put that on if we're doing a blog post. This would be a good one to do a blog post on because there's lots of photos and like people we're talking about. Yeah. That we could throw photos up for. Defs. Most defs. Most defs. Most defs. Um, oh, I have a really cringe story for this. Well, <gasps> it's not, it wasn't cringe at the time, but me thinking back to like me at the time, I'm like, oh, no, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this was in high school. Oh, Oh. I know. But oh. as soon as I tell you, you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there used to be this big like club in the city called the government or the cool house. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it exists anymore because I was trying to rack my brain for what it was called and it was hard to find because it doesn't, it's closed now. Yeah. Um, but like on the odd occasion, they would do all ages events. Oh. So like anyone over the age of, I don't know, like 16, 16 maybe yeah. would be like, obviously kids can't go. But um, over a certain age, like you could go to the club, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is so weird. And like obviously, they like they wouldn't let you drink or anything, but you could just go and dance. Yeah. So they had this big like Christmas New Year's Eve thing one year. And wait, was it Christmas or New Year's Eve? I'm trying to remember. Those are very different occasions. I know. I thought it was New Year's Eve, but I actually think it was a Christmas thing, like oh. a jingle ball type thing, but not like it wasn't. It was like a club. It wasn't like. A concert. Yeah. Okay. 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 So it was like <laughs> trap remixes of Christmas music and like smoke machines and like older people dancing. It was like kind of gross. Yeah. But um, I went with like three of my friends and we were like, oh, it's going to be so fun. Because I think it was like the friend of a friend who was like, you know, the one that always feels older than you should be. Right. And she was like, I want to go to a club. Come with me. It's all ages. Like, your mom will let you go. And I was like, okay. Your mom will let you go. (laughs) Yeah. You know it's a friend when they're like, I know how to, like, talk to your mom. (laughs) Yeah. So I was like, okay, sure, whatever. And we went. And, like, it was fun at the time. And we have some real cringe photos from that (laughs) night um, that we can throw up on this blog I'm talking about. But just me thinking back now, like, if current me was at an event like that and I saw like 16 year old me and her friends you'd be like go home I would be like why am I here like these little youths are here like ruining the event like I don't know it was just so like why did I go why did I think I was like so cool for going to that yeah it's also like super question yeah exactly what you just said it's super questionable who's going to an all-ages event who's over yes like the drinking age that could go to any other bar because yeah like I would never go to anywhere where there's like the youths i know like the people that like don't mind that it's like you gotta wonder because i remember there being older people and like (gasps) older guys too like no nothing happened but it was kind of a weird vibe at times i I know so i'm like just thinking back to me in the moment being like wow i'm so cool i'm like so anyone listening i feel like our audience is a little bit older but anyone listening who's you know in the all ages category (laughs) uh just keep that in mind when you go out be careful be safe have fun have fun like i had fun. it is fun yeah it's really fun it's more fun than going it's like the same way that you're young and you want to go to a place where older people hang out like you wouldn't want to go to a place where like younger people hang out when yep. you're 16 exactly. right exactly it and just I, makes sense i think it was a good thing too because it kind of sort of turned me off from the whole club environment anyways because mm-hmm. like oh this is gross and like too loud and i can't talk to my friends <laughs> yeah so like after when i was of age to go to those i'm like oh, i've been there <laughs> yeah i've done that it's not fun yeah so maybe it was an alright thing. Same. Goes happened. to club once and I'm like, cool. <laughs> Done. Over it. Tapped out. Speaking of going to the club. Wait, this one, I didn't go to the club for my 18th birthday, but 
um, a first time I drank too much. Mm-hmm. What um, happened? Wasn't at a club. It was at the, my 18th birthday. 19th uh, or 18th? 18th. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Oops. And a oop. And a oop. <laughs> but it's my champagne birthday if that helps anything all but, right you all know right. when you like 18 18 yeah my september 18th turning 18 i was like oh my god which by the way mine's three so like uh, super rip. did not get to celebrate champagne birthday we could pretend it's like 30 yeah a dyslexic me 30 oh three it's the same thing yeah 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 um yeah um, what was I going to say? Your 18th birthday, something happened. Mm, yeah, so um, Vita, who we had on the podcast, <laughs> bless her soul, because this was, like, literally, like, a week after knowing her. And, um, sorry, Mom, but I, like, projectile puked in our bathroom. And she, like, cleaned up some of it, but then she was also like, yo, you got to clean up the rest of this. And I was like, yo, mad respect, because I would not do that. This is in college, in first year? This is first year college, yeah. Oops. Oops. Now I don't drink tequila because it'll tequila you. <laughs> was this the time um, that we took you back to the res and you were like passed out? Probably. I have this memory of us. I, I, we were with someone else and I honestly don't remember who. I remember who, but I'm not going to say who. I actually don't remember who. And we were like carrying you because you had like fallen asleep. Oh my God. Shh, don't say this. Can I not say this? I just think it's funny that. We try because to go into res, you need to show an ID card to prove that you are allowed in, that you live there. And I had your ID card, and I was like, "Look, this is her." She's just <laughs> she like pulls my hair out. Like, she's like, just sleeping right now. Let her into her room, and then they're like, yeah, "Like check the, it looked like you." And they're like, "All right, carry on." Like not even, do you need help? Is she okay? Yeah, they're just, just like, like making sure that you're you and you can go in. Oh my god, we were like at this bonfire, which is near our res, which is like honestly the coolest. We went to a very cool college. That, mm-hmm. like location it was by the water it was really nice yeah by the water and we had these bonfires out by the water which is like you have a view of toronto it was sick but i was also sick <laughs> and um trust me i'm much cooler now i'm sorry that was like not cool but you got to do that once so that you'd never do it again exactly absolutely mm-hmm. okay wait do you have a story you're not gonna tell us or maybe it never happened oh mm, i thought of one story it's not like so crazy it's just kind of more funny so this was when we were at our house our first house yeah. after college yeah and i was just starting to see austin yeah um so he came over and we were drinking like with all of our friends like we had friends downstairs too mm-hmm. um and i went to bed like super early because i was like i've had enough i'm tired honestly i always did that at our house parties we yeah. had house parties at our house all the time and i swear becky and i were like always the first people to, to sneak away in bed yeah <laughs> Whoops. and this was like really early into hanging out with austin we're like he really didn't know anybody else oh true but i was like no i'm going to bed <laughs> <laughs> so i went to bed and like he came like with me to like make sure i got to bed fine and i thought he would like just stay with me i don't know why um but then I was talking to him the next day and he was like, oh yeah, like all your friends are so cool. Like I hung out with all your friends and I was like, ha ha, no you didn't. You like stayed with me because you know, that's what I assumed would happen. Even yeah. though I don't know why, that'd be so boring for him. Yeah. So for like a long time, I thought it was a joke that yeah. he did this. And then I went down and I was talking to our downstairs neighbor a little, like like a couple weeks after. And she was like, oh, like I met Austin. Like he's so friendly. Like we all hung out. And I'm like, wait what <laughs> i literally thought this didn't happen for so long because he always jokes about stuff and then she was like no we hung out for hours like all of us we played games together and i'm like what did i miss <laughs> i that i thought was a joke for so long the fomo i know so that's what happens when you party too hard and you put yourself to bed very early you miss out on fun i mean and your friends make friends without you but that's like <laughs> a respectful way to go out i guess so I versus guess so. like having to convince the res front desk that this person actually lives here <laughs> i feel like we're slowly growing up with these firsts and the next first is there's some job first but we actually have a podcast where we talked about our job firsts so check out the beginning of season one of a little bit a lot if you want to hear our job journey and how we got to where we are um but other than that do you remember our first YouTube brand deal. <laughs> I had to even ask you for this answer because I was like, what was it? And then you reminded me and I like laughed out loud. I think that's so it, funny. right? I th- I think so. Like I said, like these are the first ones we can think of. So if you guys like find an older one, let me know. Don't come. Don't come for me. But yeah. 
Um, I believe it was with Secret Deodorant. Mm -hmm. And again, this was in the house that I was talking about that we used to live in where we filmed this. What an iconic house. So much happened in that house. Yeah. Um, But they they were doing a campaign for Mm anti-bullying. And they had this thing where they wanted people to paint their pinky nails blue with blue nail polish. Yeah. And basically it was like a silent, like, visual support that you stand against Against bullying. bullying. Yeah. So if you, like, saw someone with a pink nail, you're like, oh, yeah, you They're an ally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're (laughs) in this together. So they asked us, and I don't, like, did this even relate to a DIY? Maybe we made friendship braces or something. (gasps) Oh, yeah, we did. You're right. Yeah. Wow. So they were like, hey, can you go out and get people to paint their nails on camera or their nail on camera with you and like say to camera that they support this anti-bullying message and we were like yeah and it was like not that much money but we were like this is so exciting like secret deodorant a big notable brand like it's in stores so legit i feel like that's also when our uh friends started taking us seriously i feel like we honestly probably kept our channel a secret from our fan from our like uh school friends until we were like hold on, now we need to ask you guys all to be in our video. And also, we're getting paid for it, so that's awesome. But the best part was that we didn't even fake the nail polish thing with, like, actual friends of ours, which we could have done very easily. Yeah, we did a couple friends, but we, like, also just walked around campus. Yeah, the one I remember the most is going to, around campus and, like, literally going up to random girls and being like, hey, can I just, like, film you? Can you just, like, let me paint your nail? And most of them were like, what? Because YouTube wasn't even so much of a thing back then as it is now. Like, it's common to see people walking around vlogging. Yeah. Before then, it was, like, a weird thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so going around convincing people to paint their nails blue and then awkwardly on camera say, like, I support anti-bullying. Yeah. It was a big moment. Big mood. I'm going to go watch that video. <laughs> is that still even up? It probably is, right? Probably. Even though, you know what? It's not still a thing. The company that paid us to do it. Not secret, but our... MCN that we were with at the time mm-hmm. was Alloy Digital, which turned into Defy Media. Yeah, so that was the first brand deal. And then mm-hmm. after that, I'm hoping they only got bigger and better. I think so. I think so, too. What was your first... Uh, ooh. Okay, these two kind of maybe go hand in hand. Maybe? No, mm-hmm. probably not. I was going to say first car and first big purchase. Mm-hmm. But my first answer, my thought, I was like, oh, my first big purchase was probably like my car. Yeah. The first car I ever had, which is your current car your first car? The first one I bought, yeah. Yeah. I had an old Honda Civic, which I paid for um, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was like, oh, that'll be my my answer. But then I thought of a better answer. What is like, it? Like the first one that kind of stressed me out. I remember buying my first cell phone like that I paid for. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And it was a Nokia cell phone. And like, honestly, even... After owning an iPhone, I swear, this is my favorite phone I've ever owned. <laughs> what? I know. It's so odd. We need to find a photo of it. But it was like a white and silver phone. And it looked like a BlackBerry, but it wasn't. Was it the side swipe ones? No. Oh. It was like essentially what you think of was like a brick phone. It was like it had a screen and the keys, but it didn't oh, yeah. move at all. It was like a single <laughs> flat phone. Yeah. And it was just so nice looking. Like I loved that phone. It was so easy to type on. Um and I don't know what it was about it, but I, like I was obsessed with that phone. And I remember go- going with my mom, and I was like, "Can you please take me to Rogers? Because that's who I was with at the time. Like, we have to find this phone." And it was so hard to find it in the white because like the black was the one that everyone. This owned. sounds like such a Becky thing. I eh? know, and I was like, "Like, I need this phone, and I need it in white." Exactly. I'm very like <laughs> particular with the things that I spend money on. So we went to a bunch of different Rogers. We finally found the white and silver one, and like it was a big mood for many years. Yeah. And I stressed because it was like a couple hundred dollars. Like even back then to buy a phone. Out Wait, right? it was only a couple hundred dollars? Which, that's a lot, right? For, I don't know. No, it is. But also, like, phones are, like, thousands now. I know. So, like, back then, a couple hundred on a phone was kind of crazy. Yeah. When it was so common to just get one with your plan. Yeah. But, I was, again, I was particular, and I wanted this one, which didn't come with my phone plan. <laughs> so, I remember stressing hard about that phone. <laughs> well, I know the first house that we rented in together, the first house there, but... Your first house purchase. I mean, I can't believe you have two. I know. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> two under my belt. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's wild. My Well, my first house ever was in my hometown. There's vlogs about this too. Austin and I getting the house and moving in. But it was like a townhouse and it was it had a lot of floors. It was like skinny but tall. So it had like seven different levels. Yeah. It was a wild home. Um, and we lived there for about a year. <laughs> 
But then honestly, the neighborhood wasn't like super maze and I wanted to be closer to the city. So now we have the house that we're in now. Yeah. But yeah, if I had to talk about my first house, that would be that'd be the one. Did you and I remember you saying that the multiple floors was crazy and mm-hmm. you didn't like it, especially for cleaning. Mm-hmm. Um, so now when I'm house shopping, I mean, most houses don't have like a bunch of different floors, but mm-hmm. I've seen like one or like I'll see them come up in my listings and I'm like, nah. I can't go see that. I remember Becky said it was not fun. Well, yeah. Well, A, you're walking on like up and down stairs all the time. Yeah. And stairs collect like the most dirt, I feel like. Yeah. So vacuuming up and down like five sets of stairs is a lot. Not fun. Not fun. Okay. Also, though, like when I was getting my mortgage or getting pre-approved for my mortgage, he was like, do I was like, what happens if I, this happens or what happens if I sell it in this time? And he was like. He's like, that's okay. You just need to like bring the mortgage with you kind of thing. Or like, there's always these different scenarios that can happen. But he was like, whatever you do, don't sell your house within the first year. He's like, you need to be there for at least a year. Otherwise, there was like, he said there was like huge fees and stuff. No, you're good. I don't know. Not that I know of. But I think, I don't know if we were necessarily under a year. Oh, you might have been over a year. And then you just carry your mortgage, right? Yeah. When I was a kid, I was always like, well, you have to pay off your house before you can move. Well, tech, yeah. Yeah. You get, like, the money back from the house of your sale. Right. Which you then put into the mortgage that you owe. Mm. But then often you need another mortgage for the next one. So yes. So they just kind of, like, take the one and then add to the – anyways. True. Not interesting right now. Wow. I mean, wow. I'm just trying to adult over here. <laughs> cool. First podcast. That's the last one on the list. Oh, my <laughs> God. First podcast was – when was the first podcast? The crazy thing is we didn't even, like – I don't think we were ever on a podcast before we no. started a podcast, right? Like, we weren't guests on any. Have I ever even been on one since? Wow, true. No. I'm offended. We have people on our podcast. I'm impressed. I'm like, I did this thing with no experience, and I'm like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Actually, we have been asked to be on a couple podcasts, I think, but the timing and stuff just hasn't worked out. We're busy. But yeah, that busy life. Okay, as you can tell, we're slowly fading and losing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. So I think we'll wrap up the podcast here. Thanks for um, tuning in this week, guys. And make sure to subscribe. Mm-hmm. Even n- not on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on your podcast app because, I mean, subscriptions are free. And next podcast, we're actually going to be responding to a bunch of emails that you guys have sent in. Any questions, concerns, thoughts? that you've had so make sure to send us your emails to podcast at the story girls.com <laughs> podcast no s podcast one single podcast we have we only have one at the story girls.com you can email us literally about anything and we might read it and we might respond to it that's true and you know what else is true that the sun just came out it was raining what? What? and now it's sunny so we're gonna go enjoy the sunshine okay See you. Talk to you next week. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.